Welcome to the channel, I trust that you're doing well. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up whitelisting for your withdrawal addresses. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Let's get into the video. From your dashboard, come over here on the left hand side and click where it says security. If you're not on your dashboard, you can come up to your profile icon, top right hand side of the screen, hover over top of it and then select security from the drop down menu. Once you're on your security page, just scroll down a little bit. You'll see a section that says crypto withdrawal and right here is withdrawal whitelist. Once this function is enabled, your account will only be able to withdraw to addresses on your whitelist. To set this up, just come over here on the right hand side and click on enable. You'll get a little pop up here. That's reminding you that once this function is enabled, your account will only be able to withdraw to addresses on your whitelist. Of course, that's what we want. So we'll go ahead and click on enable. Then you'll need to put in your authenticator code. So if you haven't set up a two factor authentication just yet, I do have a video on how to set up Google authenticator and I'll leave a link for that video in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Once you put that in, your whitelist will be enabled. So we'll go ahead and click on OK. Now you should be able to see that your withdrawal whitelist is on. If at any point in the future you want to disable this, just come over here on the right hand side and click on disable. You'll get a little pop up here. We'll just go ahead and click on confirm. And then you'll need to do the security verification again. But this time you'll need to do an email verification code as well as an authenticator code. To get your email verification code, you just click right here, put in both these codes, click on submit, and you'll have disabled your withdrawal whitelisting. So we'll just go ahead and close this out. Next, you'll need to add some whitelisted withdrawal addresses. And to do that, just click this little link right here that says address management. And all your whitelisted addresses will be displayed down below here. And to add an address, just click on one of these links that says add address. Then you'll get a little pop-up window where you can put in the details of your withdrawal address. So we'll start out by giving the address a name. And for this demonstration, I'll just go ahead and use another exchange. I'll, I'll do Coinbase. Then select the coin that you're setting up the withdrawal address for by clicking right here. You can find it in this drop down menu or you can simply search for it in the search bar. So I'll go ahead and just do Bitcoin. I'll scroll down. There it is right here. Now I need to get my Coinbase deposit address and put it in here. So I'll just quickly drag Coinbase into frame like so. I'm going to copy my deposit address on Coinbase. Then I'll paste that into address. Next, you need to choose the correct network. In this case here, wallet address automatically matched to corresponding network. If your network does not match, you do risk losing your coins forever. So in this case here, this wallet address automatically matched. But in the event that it doesn't, just make sure that wherever you're sending these coins is over a supported network that matches. If you'd like to learn more about that, I do have a video on how to withdraw your coins off of Binance, as well as how to deposit coins to Binance. And I go into more detail about the networks in those videos. So I'll leave a link for those in the description down below for anyone that might find that helpful. Now we need to choose the address origin by just simply clicking on this box right here. And we can see over here under type that it's already set to exchange address, which is correct in my case. But if you were sending to a hardware wallet or a hot wallet, you'd come over here and select wallet address. Then we'll need to select the exchange platform by clicking on this box right here. Then we'll find it from this drop down list here. In this case, they have Coinbase Pro and Coinbase Pro isn't a thing anymore. There's Coinbase and Coinbase Advanced. So I'm just going to go ahead and come down here and leave this on others. Then I'll put the name of the exchange in. Then click on OK. Once that's all done, we'll make sure that we check this little box right here. And by checking whitelist address allows your account to only withdraw to whitelisted addresses. So now that we have that checked, we're going to go ahead and click on save. Then we'll need to do our security verification. So you'll have to request an email verification code by clicking right here. And then we'll have to put in our authenticator code. So I'll quickly do that. And once you put in your codes, just click on submit. And as you can see, I've added a whitelisted withdrawal address for Coinbase. If at any point you want to delete an address or remove it from the whitelist, just come over here on the right hand side to these little dots, give that a click. And here you'll find two options to remove from whitelist and then delete it. And that's how you get that done. And there you have it. That's how you set up whitelisting for your withdrawal addresses. If you found that helpful, don't forget to leave me a like and hit subscribe. Also check out some other Binance tutorials, which I've put together for you in a playlist on my YouTube channel. Thanks so much for coming by and checking out this video. Looking forward to seeing you in the next one. And until I do, have yourself a powerful day.